What is up guys, welcome back to a, another video on Let's Build a City. So today we're going to be working on the North Ember uh, part of the map, which is our residential zone here. Uh, we're not going to be finishing those houses yet, but I will be doing that today. I'm making a point of doing that today because the front of them has been built for like, I think a couple of weeks now. And I still haven't got around to finish it, but I will be doing that today. Not in today's video, but I will be doing that. Um, so, off camera, well, I say off camera, but I did stream me building this over on Twitch, and I've really was spotted a mistake over here. Um, I've started work on the North Ember, uh, train station. Uh, which, as you can see, is starting to, uh, look pretty cool. Obviously, this is floating for now, but we're gonna turn it into sort of like a bridge type thing. Uh, it's gonna look good, trust me, it's gonna look good. Um... Yeah, so I still need to finish working on that tube train over there, um, and as well, I still need to get the tutorial up for the center carriage of that, so please remind me to do that um, in the comments if I don't do it anytime soon. Um, I'll try and do it between now and episode 20, and if I don't, then bug me. Um, right, so, uh, I think we'll start off today by uh, building this road, because that needs to be done. <clears throat> because uh, I've had this planned out for a little while uh, on how this is going to work and oh by the way I can do road markings now <gasps> I, I, I just took the time to, to, to do it properly and it worked out really well so it's all good um, but yeah, so this area of the map, especially, has turned out really well so far. It's got that feel I wanted it to. Um, it's just the entire place is pretty much built out of bricks, and that's how I wanted it to be. I don't want it to be, um, like, any other way. So I think at some point there'll probably be flats here as well. Um, and some, like, high-rise apartment complexes and things like that. But obviously they'd be further down, um not in the center of the like low density residential area so we'd have sort of like two-story maybe three-story flats around here um because you just you, you just tend to get those uh in residential zones so i shall be doing that and then um later on we can start working on some higher ice but that won't be till a lot later so don't get your hopes up on that um, but yeah, so definitely this area of the map is turning out really well, really, really well. I'm enjoying making videos as well. I believe this is episode 11, right? Which is crazy. Hoping we'll get to at least 15. <laughs> now we do, we're, we're doing well, we're doing well. Uh, I'm taking the, like, needed breaks as well in between sort of uploading because, uh, as you know, I take, like, a week off every now and again of uploading videos, um, and that just helps, like, I, I still build, but it just helps me, um, come up with new ideas and not have to keep thinking on the spot on camera and all that, so, you know, it just helps out a little bit to have, sort of, little breaks in between videos. Right, that is big enough, cool. So we're gonna build all of this out so this road will start looking pretty cool. Uh, this area in general on the map is looking pretty amazing at the moment. Uh, it'll look even better once the train station's finished. Definitely, definitely. And I want to have some benches along the side of the train station as well. It's, it's gonna be really cool, trust me. Um, in fact, we might even do some work on that today because uh, why not? Already started it, might as well continue it. Um, so it's not sort of like an empty shell of a building because I think today after I've done this video I will probably try and finish building no, no, no promise it will be 100% done by the end of um, today and it will probably still have a little bit that needs to be done tomorrow um, but I'm going to try and get most of it done and then I'm also going to try and at least finish the outside of the train station which um I'm not going to be doing the interior of small houses like that, uh, but if I do like a mansion or something like that, I'll do the interior because I find if it's loads of little small houses, it's going to start to get repetitive and just a bit eh. Um, 
like even if I'm doing it off camera I'm gonna get bored uh, let alone you guys watching it so um, I'll probably do maybe a couple of them and then maybe if I get bored I'll do some of the insides of some of the others but for now I'm just gonna say no to it and they're just gonna be empty shells whereas the bigger buildings sort of like the train station here this is gonna have an interior which as you can see I've already started you've got the um, the disabled gate here, which they always have in the lone underground um, stations, or, or barrier, whatever it, whatever you want to call it. You got the little um, things here where you scan your Oyster card, um, and then here's the normal gates, which I think I did a pretty good job on. Uh, and then, so basically, what like how this is going to work is you go left for platform one, you go right for platform two. Um, which is going to be really cool. This train in the middle, that isn't going to count towards the station, that's just going to be running straight through the centre of it. Um, and then that will eventually uh, either go underground or above ground while the, uh, these ones go um, underground. So, you know, we've got plans. We know how that's going to work. I'll probably make the um, tube tracks because the one in the middle is Chilton, uh, Chilton Railway. Uh, and the one either side, they're going to be uh, tube. So I've already had the tube ones go underground and the short one can stay above ground. Because I've already like planned out how all of the stations are going to work so far. Because I'm going to I'm going to have uh, basically uh, Chilton line will probably go up and straight forwards and keep going that way. Tube trains uh, either side will curve around like this underneath the Chilton track, curve around. Curve round, curve round. Uh, keep going, keep going, keep going underneath the motorway. And then over here, this track will be underground as well at the same level as them. And that will curve into the same line as them. And then I can put that in a train station and it's going to look amazing. So that's going to be the plan eventually. But uh, I think that's definitely going to look really cool. Let's go back to building now though, because. Uh, I don't want to spend the entire episode just explaining what I'm going to do. I haven't done a proper building episode in about three episodes now, so I should probably do that. <laughs> it's mainly been tutorial, tour, and I can't remember what the other one was. It was probably a building episode, I can't remember. I'll have a look. Um, but yeah, so it's nice to be back recording and uh, building at the same time. We haven't been going for too long, I'd say probably about 10 minutes, because I started my stopwatch a little bit late today. So, uh, about 10 minutes, I'm guessing. 9-10 minutes. Which is, which is cool. If I was greedy and I was monetized, that's how long I'd make the video, but I am not greedy or monetized. <laughs> so, <laughs> but now we're going to go all throughout the series is aiming for uh, 20 to 25 minutes per episode. Um... And then, if I do want to extend it to 30 occasionally, I probably will. But that won't be too often, like, because, uh, the LEGO Batman 3 series, the episodes on that, I, and same with LEGO Harry Potter, the episodes on that started getting to, like, 40 minutes long each, and that was getting ridiculous. Like, one of the LEGO Batman ones, uh, was so long, uh that I was recording for over an hour and PS4 has a capture limit of an hour so it cut off the recording, saved it obviously, it's not gonna like not save it but it saved it so I uploaded that one uh, and then I sort of did a part two for that one level and it was crazy so you know, you know hopefully that's not gonna happen on here because obviously it's not a story it's just uh, me building and making a city. So, alright, that looks immediately better having a road there. Like, you know, it just looks so much nicer. See, look at that on the map. How cool does that look? So you've got this sort of little, little gap in the middle for the trains. Uh, and then this is all, obviously, housing. And that will be the gardens. Uh, this will be probably either shops or housing. I'm guessing probably we'll have a row of housing here and then possibly a shop on the end. I don't know. We'll have to see. We'll have to see. Um, right. 
Alright, so, shall I work on this? Yeah, we'll work on this, I know what I want to do. So, what block do I need? Let's put the map away before I clear my inventory. Uh, I want the smooth stone slab. And I want the bricks. Because I want to run a layer of bricks over the front. Just like that. And I'm thinking maybe some smooth stone like this. Yeah, no, we'll, we'll have to see. see. See what that looks like. Yeah, that looks decent. I'm happy with that. So another thing I need to do is have the tube logo at the front. Um, so we'll do that now. Um, or should I do just the blue? sort of board and then have the station name on it. I don't know. We'll see how this looks. I think that's quite good. Cool, cool. Right, and then we'll build that up. Um, maybe to there. So have sort of a, a larger sort of overhang than usual but still it, it, it makes sense I'm going off sort of the architecture of most of the above ground tube stations that you find so um, you know we'll see there's um, different stations like you like differently designed stations like uh, one of them I can think of off the top of my head uh, is Chalfont and Latimer uh, that's got a very Victorian design to it um, and I feel like this uh, station is, would more be sort of like 30s, I'm thinking. I'm gonna chop off one layer because I want to have a row of slabs. There we go. Huh. Now I could have the I could make the tube logo smaller and have it in the middle, directly in the middle. I tell you what, I'm gonna do that uh, quickly just to see how it looks. Well, in fact, what might work is I've never tried this before, so it might not. If I do. Ah, uh, I'm gonna go with it. I think that's decent. Yeah, we'll we'll go with that. Um. Okay. So. Oh, you know that? No, that's fine. Um. Oh, actually, you might have to move this up by one. Yeah, you know, I could probably... Oh no, um... Huh. Let me try something. So, if I get... Quartz out, let me get... Move quartz... Uh, st oh god, slabs as well. Um... I'm gonna try and make an N for north. Uh, like an N. Sort of. What about if I do... Yes, it does. Okay. <laughs> we'll do N E for North Ember. Yes, I like that. Definitely. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, we'll go for maybe a stone ceiling here. See how that, that looks. And then on top of that, uh, I think I'm going to have... Uh, gravel for the actual roof. Let's see if that's any good. We'll put bricks across there, across the doorway. Looking good. And gravel. Nice, nice. 
Now, like I said, I started my stopwatch a bit later than I actually started the video, so there's a possibility that we've already hit 15 minutes, but for the purposes of me looking at my stopwatch, we've hit 15 minutes, so not much longer, guys. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Alright, that's looking good. That's definitely looking good. I'm gonna have windows across the side here. We'll do like two levels of glass. And then bricks. Yeah, alright, that looks, that looks decent, that looks decent. Do the same over here. Perfect, perfect, you need to put the roof on, that would help for the brick layer. Yeah, looking good, looking good. See, I, I think I've done pr a pretty decent job of this so far. So I'm thinking maybe um, we have this as maybe a shop. Like if I cut out a section of it here, I could turn this into sort of like a counter. Maybe not that big, maybe like that. So yeah, I could turn that into a counter. And that could be a shop, possibly. Um, let's have a look what that would look like with Cyan Terracotta going up the side of it. I think that would look quite good. Yeah, that does. So I have Cyan Terracotta going up the side of it, and then maybe snow in the front? Sort of like the actual, actual counter. Maybe I'll do what I did in the train station in series two. I have like a section of it bookshelf. Maybe a decent portion. Yeah, I like that. And then we'll have glass pane there. I'm liking that. Yeah, that's cool. I have the big board here, which is the big sign that says no smoking because it kills you. Uh, well, not no smoking, but don't smoke because it kills you. Um, and then we'll have like the door next to it. So, like here. And that should be pretty decent. Yeah, so we'd have this be the door. Uh, we'll go for birch. sign here um, here we go and there we go I love it. Alright, cool. And then maybe like a button either side for like the handle, or maybe just that one side. Um, and they usually have like a, a picture on it of someone's destroyed lungs, so that'll do. <laughs> I feel like I'm capturing this way too well. <laughs> Uh, then we'll do like a row of signed terracotta on top, and then, uh, oh, in fact, no, we'll go for stone slabs. Oh no, we'll, no, 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 we'll do, we'll do smooth stone. And then I want to get a lantern, maybe. Let's see if I can dangle that down without it looking odd. Nah, that looks done. Oh.
I feel like I do want some light source in here though. Maybe. In fact, we use sea lantern. Maybe that. Oh no, because that's going to show up in the windows. Okay, that. Yeah, that's nice. And then if, if we set that to night quickly and see what that looks like. Yeah, there you go. So that lights that up perfectly. Um, in fact, this gives us opportunity to light the rest of it up as well, so I'll do that now. Uh, so we'll get sea lanterns and glass. So we'll have one sort of in the entrance. Oh yeah, because it's going to light up the top as well, so that's going to work really well. So I have one there. And a one there. And then one in the middle. And that should look pretty amazing. Yeah, look at that. I actually really like that. Damn, I've done a pretty good job. Right, I'm going to end the video here because we've just about hit 20 minutes. So, you know, don't want this video to drag on for too long. So, for now, thank you for watching. I uh, hope you did enjoy. If you did enjoy, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.